Hey there, Animal Crossing lovers. My name is BB8, and today it's episode 4 of Animal Crossing New Horizons Ideas. This time, we're talking about the inventory, because the inventory we saw at E3 was awful. This is all we had. So I tweaked the inventory a bit to make it a bit better. If you click the bell icon, it takes you to your, to your bells balance. There's two separate balances this time. The bells. You could spend them in the shops. But if you want to spend bells on the Nook phone, the Nook card is required. I'll talk more about that later. And there's the containers, which are like four storage compartments. There's the toolbox, the bucket, like I mentioned the other episode, a bug cage, and a food cooler. You could store your tools, your fish, your bugs, and your food. If you press the pink icon with the pencil on, it'll take you to my designs or write a letter. Here comes in a new feature collectible like thing called stickers. The stickers are like a new way to personalize your letters and you can send them to your friends. There's five ranks, common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare and legendary. For example, here we have a sticker sheet based off the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As you may know, the hardest one to get here is Link. The, if you wanted this variant of Link, you could go to Shrunk's new store, Shrunk sticker truck you could get a sticker pack but it just picks any of the 2000 plus stickers out of random or if if you go to the amiibo option tap in archer link you unlock the sticker with the amiibo or, you can just go to any amiibo animal based off the legend of Zelda and, and get a Zelda sticker pack which picks random ones based off Zelda. There's some more examples for sticker sheets. Here is another example of something. A couple of stickers ago, some of the stickers were black. You're wondering why? The black spot means you don't have that sticker yet. When you do, it will show up, but a shadow of that sticker will be there until you have it. Question, what can you do with these stickers? Well, you can do this. Remember when I mentioned 
Percy's Purses a few episodes ago. Well now, the stickers can be used to stick on your bags, to show a sense of style to your character, you can stick stickers anywhere on your backpack. You could even stick stickers on your letters and send them to any of your friends that have Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wait a minute. What if you have two of the same sticker? Well, you can always do this. Find one of your friends that has a duplicate that you don't have. And you can trade with that friend and then you get another sticker in return. But warning though, if you're trading, any stickers obtained with Amiibo are not tradable. This is the sticker album. The sheets are organized by category. And the star on a sticker sheet means that you got every sticker on that sheet. There is over 2,000 stickers to get your hands on. So now let's end the episode 4 off with the new apps. So we've got Nooktunes. I already talked about Nooktunes. Now let's move on to Enbay. Enbay. Kinda like eBay, but you can order some furniture, cookies, and gyroids. Like in real life, it takes two days for them to arrive. We're talking about a new feature that might be useful to people that want to earn rewards. The feature called Quests. So technically quests are like more ways to play the game. For example, the Kid Cat, you have to beat him in a bumper car game. And if you do, you get a Kit Kat figure as a reward. And for the story quests, Finless. 17 quests. When you complete quest number 17, you get Finless figurine. The Nook Card app, like I mentioned. Account, your village name, what kind of Nook card you have. You have to use Nook Miles to upgrade your Nook card. Like you have to use a thousand to get the gold one. And the more you upgrade, the more bells you can store on the card. Nuclopedia stores information about animals, fruit, bugs, fish, reptiles, birds, locations, and fossils. Yep, reptiles and birds you can now donate to the museum in the game and any animal you have met information stored wisp chat an app that you can unlock once you meet wisp kind of like snapchat but in animal crossing it locates where each villager is and the stories can see what they get up to throughout their day. The next one is 
the scooters. You could just pop in the app, hire a scooter, and then you can ride anywhere around your island with it, as seen in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Which means the scooter goes twice as fast as the player's walking speed. The second to last app I'm talking about is movies. The movies appear at, as in three minute short clips in the style of anime. If you don't remember the 2006 Animal Crossing anime movie, you won't be familiar with what I'm talking about. So, these are like cutscenes assembled with anime, which could help develop the characters a bit more. Like, like I'm about to mention, complete Finless's mission 10 to unlock how Finless lost his fin and his Q. So, that is somehow Finless's backstory. So there's about 30 anime clips to unlock, which helps develop the character a bit more. And the last one is the Nook Phone Assistant. Kinda like Siri a little bit, but this may require a Google Home on Amazon Echo to use because it can add more stuff to the game it can add shortcuts to your apps and at the bottom of the apps page is how many enough miles you have so that was episode 4 so if you're, if you're looking forward to episode 5, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notifications on. And finally, tell me in the comments when you've subscribed. In episode 5, like I said, there was a story mode in quests. I'm going to be handing out more details about a story mode for the game. BB-8, out.